Hi everyone, this is 3-1-Pockets and I'd like to welcome everyone to part number one of my Dell Dimensions 5150 CPU and memory update video. Now today's episode we're going to be taking an older model Dell that is a single core Pentium 4 um, which is was pretty common in, at one period of time before they came out with the dual core and the quad core. Now some people may have a computer like this laying around and now in this example video we're going to start with a 3.0 gigahertz CPU that came stock in this factory um, Dell desktop computer and we're going to speed it up to a 3.8 uh, gigahertz processor. So as always let's get started. Now to get started today we're inside we came inside and we're in the indoor office and uh, now it's been a little bit too cold to fool with snow blowers um, this week so and lawn equipment so I decided to come in and do a short um, upgrade uh, video on uh, speeding up um, the Dell uh, Dimensions 5150 computer that's right here now originally we got started with um, our GX280 which is next to it and this computer I really liked and I've had it for a lot of years now I used to have um, the GX270 is running too but now even these older computers are really fast as far as doing uh, office work and things like that but to start getting into photography at higher definitions and videos they really don't perform that well the way they they come from the factory with uh, the 2.8 gigahertz processor so I then decided to try and uh, pick up the speed a little bit now we put bigger memory in and the computer ran a lot smoother but it still didn't run any faster for as far as uh, video work and streaming and that kind of thing so I started doing a little research and I saw that these were on eBay once in a while with a 3.8 gigahertz processor which is the fastest speed you can possibly put in now um, I saw the price on them and I, then I started to see the 3.8 processors by themselves which were a lot less expensive so I decided to try and um, get the 3.8 processor and install it into the older computer now once I got the 3.8 gigahertz um, processor in from eBay from one of the the vendors on eBay I tried to install it in the GX280 and we couldn't get anything on it but a black screen so um, I couldn't really do anything with it now I was deciding whether to take the CPU and put it back on eBay and try and get rid of it or to I uh, then decided to try and get uh, find a computer that was inexpensive and, and try and install it in a close friend he wanted to um, build a whole new computer he was having problems with his computer too but I'm not really that advanced I have to take a, a model that's already made and try and advance it that way I'm not that technical so I have to do stuff kind of the easy way now the next step was after I got the CPU now I had to decide and figure out what this thing might fit in and the the CPU was called the um, the LS7 Z3 EM64T uh, processor with a 2M catch now the Dell um, Optiplex GX280 now that one had uh, the 2.8 with a 1M catch so it was really um, I thought well maybe because it's 2M um, for the catch it was causing problems uh, and the uh, motherboard could not read the new CPU but in fact that wasn't the case the the speed was just too great for it now after doing more research on the CPU I discovered that this CPU was at the end of evolution for the single core now the next um, the highest level of Dell computer at the the top of the food chain before it changes over to a dual core is called 
that I could find is the Dell Dimensions 5150. Now that marks the end of evolution, I guess, that I know of for the single core processor. So I found one of these on Craigslist for sale and it was they're, they're fairly inexpensive to compare to getting a new faster computer. So I decided to try and pick one up. Now when I read about the specs on this computer on Craigslist I could see that it had an EM64T uh, processor that was a 3.0. So I when I went over to the person's house that had it, you know, they were kind of mad because I wanted to pull the heat sink off and double check it and verify it. And sure enough, when I pulled it apart, I could see that the at least it was it could handle uh, the 64-bit operation for the computer. So now later that night, when I brought the the 5150 home, I installed the CPU and the CPU turned right on and woke up inside uh, the motherboard and the motherboard and BIOS could read it so that was a breakthrough so this was an amazing thing and I could see how fast it was um, just in a few moments after I turned it on it was it was pretty shocking to see the speed that it had now for anyone who has one of these Dell 5150 dimensions desktop computers and would like to try and um, do this project on their own um, I'm gonna go through it and show you guys how to look them up this is the one that I got off of eBay uh, a while ago and we've got the new one it, or it's not new it's used it's in the box and it came in so we're gonna show you the installation in a few moments but our next step is we're gonna show you how to look one up for those of you that would like to um, find out about updating your 5150 Dell desktop computer, um, to find the CPU, we're going to first start by going to, to um, eBay. We're going to click Advanced Search. And then when that comes up, we're going to enter the CPU number. Now, this is an Intel CPU. We don't need to put that. Just the, basically the number of the actual CPU that verifies it in and that number is SL7Z3 now then we're going to go down to the search category uh, in this category um, and then we're going to go down to computers and networking and click that and then we're going to click search. Now we can see there's quite a few on. There's around 10 or 12. And this is actually a low number. Sometimes there's uh, 15 or 20 on at once. Uh, so a few times there's three or four on. They're fairly easy to find. And I'll click on one of the ads so we can see it. Now this is um, the ad reads Pentium 4. 670, 3.8 gigahertz, SL7Z3. Now the socket is an LGA775 and it's a 2M catch and 800 megahertz. So we're going to click on that so we can see it. Now with this one, the specs come down. Let me take the camera. And we'll zoom in a little bit so you can see the specs. This one's a nice ad because it does have the Intel specs and we can go to directly to Intel to do find out more information on it. Well, we're just about out of time for episode number one of our Dell Dimensions 5150 and CPU and memory update video. So I hope you guys stay tuned in. Until next time, this is 31 Pockets, and thanks for watching.